Imagine! What did you do? Well, the first chapter, I was a roofer. These sexists spent all day on a roof talking about us, Amy. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to women. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title. Be Yes, was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course, although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud, no matter. I have a proposal that you could profit I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Regard someone like you, Amy, as mere sex toys. Things for their amusement. Unbelievable! Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling! And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Well, screw that, sweetheart. Yes, I agree. Good. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless dolt. He's a man. Did you know men enjoy looking at pictures of naked women? It's called pornography. It's sick and foul. I'm giving a talk about it this weekend at the Women's Center. That's you women with a Y. <laughs> I think you spelled it wrong. Are you a woman? Three of the five letters that make up your description are M-A-N. You're too dependent on men, Amy. That's why I don't call myself a woman, Amy. Um, okay. I bet this radio station is owned by a man. White male can... Convoy! Halt! Get that civilian vehicle out of our way! Sir, moving vehicle, sir! Civilian, move away from the tank! Get that civilian vehicle out of our way! Sir, moving vehicle, sir! Civilian, move away from the tank! Come to a south. Get What's up with the gunner? Don't know, sir! We're taking enemy fire! Get the tank! Stop it! Defensive position! South. Security protocol. Delta Indian echo trigger. Vehicle self-destruct initiated. This is radio control. We got an incident on the Haiti. Disturbance in progress. Over. This is the same now. Last gun. Hi, China. It's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little R&R &R at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favour or two after this, sunshine. I'll see you later. of BJ's used autos. Cars from all over America come to find a new home in Florida, just like you. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not Vietnam, even though they feel like comedy. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town, a celebrity-endorsed used car shop. That's why I founded BJ's used autos. Every one of these beauties is freshly painted, 
It looks brand new. We have new models coming in every morning, usually around 2 a.m. We can get you anything. And if you see a car in your dreams, tell us. We can acquire it for you. I've taken the skills I've learned as a pro football player to the used car business. Smash, grab, and run like him. BJ's used auto. I'm tackling low prices with hot cars. All right, Mush, I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is your mate tried to jump. He didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take ah, him? Ah! Oh, 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 plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They caught him across town the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! Well, that's my point, love. I mean, imagine if you'd been out dating a wolf or a cupid and deer. He'd protect you and stuff. You're an aide to keep out intruders, but he wouldn't mind you being on the radio. Wouldn't mind a bit. Why not? Wolves and deers have no concept of jealousy at someone else's success. That's the genetistic variation between Homo erectus and spider monkeys. Jealousy and fur and stuff. Oh. Oh, indeed, sweet thighs. Oh, indeed. We should like Mr. Zoo to tell you something else. Yeah? Everything you learned in school was a lie, babe. A lie. Take virology, for instance. You were told sharks are dangerous, right? Yes. Cobblers, babe. They're frightened of you. They ain't gonna hurt you. Have you ever tried cuddling a shark, getting down and dirty with one, relaxing it a little? No. Well, I have, and I'll tell you, it's very rewarding, eh, babe? Very rewarding indeed. Yeah, absolutely, love. Once you've calmed it down with a little rubbing, it's like a swimming puppy, real affectionate and stuff. Okay, I'll try that. You should, love, you really should. Let me tell you something else. Go on, go on. Well, this is something for the guys out there, really. You know what? There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. He's looking different it is. I was amazed when I found it. I can imagine. I was amazed when I left the hairdressers. No wonder, darling. Oh, the double gutted Petri. <laughs> Discover it's got two digestive tracks. Two. Amazing. Really profound it was. Ooh, that's gross. No aim, it's the science of Mr. Zoo. Getting down and dirty with animals. Because I love them and I hate lies. Okay. It also says here you like zoos. It's a love-hate thing, babe. That, that, that's nice. But I'm certainly an expert. I know what I'm doing and I'm not afraid to expose myself. 
Okay, well, I'm getting a little confused here. Why don't we take a break and when we come back, take some phone calls because all the buttons are really flashing all of a sudden. You're on K-Chat. The science of evolution has uncovered many of life's mysteries, like tadpoles or the pyramids. But the mystery of the armpit remains. What's it for? Why is it hairy? And why do men have nipples? But one thing is for certain. The Get patched up and bad. meet me on the bridge of Star Island, okay? Pom. Okay, I got you. It's like napalm for your skin or Agent Orange on your sweat. When you're fighting the war against personal hygiene, bring out the heavy artillery. This Friday night, it's the incredible sitcom that has captured America's heart and given the whole country a new catchphrase. But I'm 42! Just the five of us. After a mix-up at the adoption agency, the Chesterfields came home with three zany new house guests. Jimmy, tidy your room and go to bed. I'm so sick of this. I keep telling you I'm not a fair to see. I look 12, but I'm a 42-year-old investment banker. I want to go out and get laid. Oh, yeah, and I'm Santa Claus. Now, tidy your room. Asshole. Sean, <laughs> our posh suburban home must be a welcome change from that alley you were sleeping in. I, I really enjoy living here, but there's not enough booze. <laughs> Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Them hypocrites. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? But I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tommy, I need you, all right? I hate the damn French. We're on K-Chat, and so are you. If you're listening, I'm here with Australian animal lover, Mr. Zoo. If you've got anything to ask him, why don't you just give us a call right now? Yeah, great. Give us a call right now, and I'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Okay. Who's on the line? That Pat Flaherty. G'day, of course it is. And, and you're in Vice City? Yeah. What are you doing here? Promoting animals, mate. Don't you remember the court case? I get lost. Hey, me. Uh, let's have another call. Uh, uh, okay, who's in line to? You're through to K-Chat. Don't hang up on me, Flannerty. You're meant to be in a hospital, you dick. Hey, easy there, mate. Hospitals are for people who don't feel well. I'm at the top of my game. Are you insane? Don't answer that. Let me in a tent. I could have cheered him up. I could have done. Now stay away from me, you hear? No more calls, K.A. Phones are so impersonal. It's not a two-way conversation like the radio. Okay. Uh, who is that? Wrong number, I think. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. A bloody wrong number. He wanted a plumber and a Chinese. I was speaking to him in Australian. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer homes. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs>
Got a helicopter! Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. We're so interesting. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go away. Do yourself a favor. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. What better place to witness 40,000 years of nuclear winter than from the comfort of your very own space-ready nuclear bunker? When we raise 25 million, we will build a 50-story tall likeness of me. If we raise 300 million, the statue will rotate so I can look over this great city and cast an evil eye on degenerates. And when the eminent nuclear strike occurs, those who put faith into action with sufficiently generous contributions will join me inside the Pastor Richard Salvation statue as we blast into space. Contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation Statue Fund. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. freedom. The car for hot excitement. The car for a man who is alone against the elements. Pride is back. It's the power of a compact. All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like a big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot. Think, well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard there's some fine been put on your head, and someone's gonna have a crack at you to watch yourself. And remember me, mate. Summer. No, I 
can't see either. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is gonna be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. This was a den, 19 in Centra, Tarsis Island. This is a den, 19 in Centra, Tarsis Island. Suspect on foot. Respond to a den, 19 in Centra, Tarsis Island. This way. Diaz must be inside. I'm going to kill your throat. I've come to take over your business! Tommy, you betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz!
Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. More natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Having hair is natural. What's the deal with Anglo-Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women there don't shave their underarms. It's really quite attractive. You just need to focus your eyes to look for healthy signs and not the signs of socialized barbarism, like shaving or wearing deodorant or birthing in a hospital, rather than the open air like a wolf cub. Remember Brother Romulus and Noble Venus? I find this really interesting. Not really, but I say this because I'm told to. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Now the part here. It's 4.30 in the morning here at Farewell Ranch, and it's time to get up and work the old cow. Get up, you old! At Farewell Ranch, old people don't sit around stagnating, watching game shows, and talking about the good old days, sinking into the grave in a urine-soaked mess. At Farewell Ranch, they sweat and toil until the breaking point. Keep that miserable contemplation of mortality at bay. Hell, it's steering... Versetti, remember the name. Run this town now. Me. You're surrounded. Ruth. 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 